The sporting world is giving us what it's got, so I'm about to give you what I got. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time to the channel, please do subscribe and like so the video can be recommended to other people. So, the South African under 23 team has been selected for the Tokyo Olympics. Following the disappointment of withdrawal from five players, new five players have been included to the squad and we are excited for the boys to represent us very well in tokyo so south africa under 23 is in group a with japan the host nation france as well as mexico so we all know that these teams are very strong teams and very huge contenders they take world cups and olympics very seriously one thing about south african under 23 is they always do well and always qualify for these big tournaments internationally whether it be the olympics or the under 23 world cups we always do well to try to qualify for these tournaments as well as trying our best to progress to second stages of the tournament why do we do well with tournaments when it comes to our younger development team and we don't do so well when it comes to our national team well, how I see it is some of these players have been playing together since development before they became Amajita. Majority of these players have been playing together for a number of years now since they were quite young. So why is it that we don't take Amajita and promote them from Amajita to Bafana Bafana? So why don't we develop our players from the young age to senior level? So that that way they've built relationships, they understand each other, they understand each other's football language throughout the years of playing together up until senior level. So this way it gives them more advantage to perform together, more advantage to do well together. It gives them an advantage so they've been playing so many years together up until senior level. So if we promote them from being a Majita all the way to Bafana Bafana, we stand a chance of actually having players that understand each other, understand the language of football. For instance, take the 2010 FIFA World Cup winners, Spain. Those guys have been playing together from junior level, from development, all the way up until senior level team. So when we take our players, when it comes to Abafana Bafana, we always have to confuse these players. We always have to take them in a period of two months or three months for them to get to know each other. That is not enough time for them to be able to understand each other, learn each other's football. And to top it all off, we include different coaches every season when it comes to Abafana Bafana. We include different coaches every season and we do not even include local coaches. We bring international coaches all the time and teach Bafana Bafana the test book football. So our players in Amajita, they usually play the South African way of football, which is why I think they always have the potential of performing well when it comes to international tournaments. With Amajita learning how to communicate as footballers as well as teammates, they become a family. They have their own language of speaking in football. So many, they tend to perform very well and actually perform very well in international competitions, which is Bafana Bafana, something they struggle very much with. So with communicating, with performing very well on international stages. So if we turn to develop our players from a young age and actually all the way to becoming the national senior team, we stand a potential of actually performing very well internationally. That's how I see it. However, South African football has a lot of politics put into it. In conclusion, what I'm saying is that Amajita have been doing so well throughout the competition getting to the qualifiers and getting themselves all the way here. So the five players included to the squad, will it be a disadvantage for us? I see it also being a disadvantage. You might say it might not be a disadvantage. It's only five players. It's not so much. However, that five players, they've only joined in just now after those five players have pulled out. Imagine the amount of work that was put in to get to know each other, to get to know each other with these senior players being included to the under 23 squad. So I actually think that it would be a disadvantage for our players as well, because these guys have been playing for a very long time together. And then these new players, it's only five of them, 
but it's still something that's going to show it will reflect on the work so i hope that they do have time to actually get to know each other better and learn each other's football ways and perform well and make us proud so amachita always always go out there and makes us proud and we are so proud of them and i can't wait to see them at tokyo olympics and what they're going to bring if they don't take podium that's also fine making it to the qualifiers of the olympics has been a huge success and it is a well done to them and we hope they do so well on that note stay tuned on my next video as i'll be covering the calf champions league final amakosi will be taking al hali and i will be giving you my two cents after the game tomorrow guys do follow me on social media i've included all my social media platforms down on the description box and i will see you tomorrow when i give you the review of the calf champions league until then I'm out. Bye.